Hello Gemini, this is your extended reading. Um, so I'll just go straight into the cards because it feels like it's such a beautiful continuation of the first part. Um, and before I get the first card that came out, I'll just, um, so I'll start with this one, right? Because it feels like this part is this character's message for you because in the first part he came with this six of cups right so it feels like this the image that came to me was this warm embrace but it feels so here it, it may be um uh, it may be too too much for you right the six of cups so instead of scaring you with this six of cups it feels like they understand that you're um you're vulnerable you are uh you're just so freshly out of your comfort zone that you're still experimenting right so they understand that and they just scale down their offer their hand right I apologize for the noise. There are just a lot of helicopters around today. I don't understand, but anyways. Um, so please bear, bear with me. Um, so it feels like they understand what you've been through, right? So they're scaling down from the Six of Cups to the Three of Cups. So they come in with just a small small gesture maybe they're just like extending their hand you know to help you like give one or two more steps out of your doorway right so it's just it's really gentle it's really small it's a small gesture of kindness and love and just pure like such a pure heart i feel from this king of cups but Gemini, I feel like as soon as you are stronger and gaining confidence and gaining um, just feeling safer, right, around this one, it's increasing, increasing. Their offer of love is increasing. So they are, they too are feeling more comfortable to show you more what they mean and what they want, you know, that is this, it feels like such, such an offer of love, right? They just want to make you happy. That's how I'm seeing it. So they tone that down and then they scale up a little bit. As soon as they um, see that you are feeling good again, you know, but Gemini, this is where it gets, uh, um, it may get a little confusing, but you're a Gemini, right? So you can see uh, this duality in a masterful way, better than any other sign, right? So here, this next card that came out it just um, confirmed the suspicion that I had because I was just wondering if they are just this extreme sensitive soul that can see, that can sense, they are just extremely empath empathic, em empathetic, empathetic people that can sense how you're feeling. So they scale down and scale up, you know, the amount of love that they're giving to you, not to scare you away. I was just wondering how they can know, you know, this time, the right time, right? The right time to scale down and scale up this offer of love. Um, but I feel here, they know that because they have sensed it. They have lived that. They have um, felt it too, because they came out as the queen of cups right so they they are not like um so it feels like you are both so 
equal, so matching, so uh, you have been through the same things, right? So that's why they know how you're feeling. So you don't have to be scared or anything around them. They know exactly how you feel. They know they've been there too, right? So it feels like everything that's like the whole message of this reading basically is saying maybe you both are just recently leaving the house for the first time bravely, like, you know, in an in a almost being pushed away uh, being pushed out of your comfort zone by the universe because you're supposed to meet each other you know because you're supposed to exchange whatever you felt separately but now in this beautiful relationship it feels like it feels such a beautiful relationship and so right after that when i i just had this um this confirmation that this is happening for both of you it's like a mutual thing right you're both uh going through the same things at the same moment so you understand each other right and you feel each other because it's the queen and king of cups right so you feel each other uh, maybe there's no need for words there are a few exchange of words, but you feel each other. You're both really good uh, at sensing each other. And when this confirmation came, came along the judgment, right? So this card came with the message. It, it's just, um, it's, it's really powerful actually, because moving out of your comfort zone and meeting each other it feels like it's a rebirth for the both of you it's a it is a mutual thing you know so i was just wondering whether this encounter was because you were both being uh reborn or the other way around you know what i mean if because of the rebirth you were meeting each other but it feels like it's the two it's so enmeshed it's so the same thing right it's just it's the same thing because okay so after this judgment right another car that's talking about this time right. <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> the phone cut um so i was saying right this is a car that just is confirming this wheel of fortune like this is the time right you, it is time it's here no more stagnancy no more stopping anyone so these three cards came together the six of swords the five of ones and the page of swords so what these three are saying here is that you both are on this same path right you're both going on the same direction towards the same place so it feels like this call that is like um calling you to go outside you know that's um just pushing you out of your comfort zone this call is bigger than you both but you you both are hearing this call right you both have heard it. So you both are stepping outside of your home for the first time in a long, long time. And you're going, you're moving each step of the way, like really carefully and meeting each other, you know? So you both are on the same path towards the same thing, heading the same way. And it feels like you both carry this inner knowing that this period of stagnancy of um nothing much happening was uh like um oh my god what what is the word um it's an adjustment 
It was an adjustment period. So it feels like you had, you both had to go through conflict and it feels more like uh, inner doubts, right? With this um, five of wands. Maybe you were in conflict with other people around you. That's why you just isolated yourself because you didn't want to be aggressive to anyone, right? And you were not like um, recognizing yourself. You both actually, right? Because you're just so mutual. Like you're just so such mirrors to each other. And I feel like you're going to talk about these things, about this journey, about these inner conflicts with each other in a really in a really fun way, in a really light way, in a really because of this page of swords. So even though because I talked about like how you both came as the queen and the king of cups, right? So it's a, a it's a feeling based based emo, um, relationship, right? You understand each other's emotions really well, but here I feel like you are going to talk about the journey that took you to finding each other. In a, it, it feels like okay. So it feels like. You both are going to uh, talk about these inner fears, but in a way, in a detached way, as if you, now you could talk about your inner conflicts, your struggles, in a sense, from a from an outside perspective, right? And it it will feel light talking about it. It won't feel heavy anymore, right? It won't feel um, like a burden. It will feel like a release, actually. So it's, um, yeah, it's, uh, it feels to me like the overall reading feels to me like such a destined meeting between the two of you because you two have a lot to exchange with each other. It feels like you've been through similar kind of experiences that maybe throughout your life you didn't know anyone that had gone through the same things that you did, right? And now, because it is time, because this portal is opening and you're, you are uh, taking the leap to go out into the world and explore or you're being shipped out of your comfort zone, right? by the universe, um, it feels like finally you find someone where you can talk freely, where you can express uh, your fears without any kind of uh, restriction because you're not being attacked, right? You are just such, um, such a great, uh, great partners, great like mirrors to each other that it feels easy to talk to each other, right? And it feels fun, it feels light, it feels... Um... So uh, the word that I'm getting, it, it's like um, you're, feeling, you're feeling young again. You feel like... <laughs> you're feeling young. It feels like this relationship has um, rejuvenated your soul, right? Because you're being reborn. You're being reborn. So you both are. So you both, but you're being reborn, not like uh, to this ground zero, right? But you're, 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 you're taking all the lessons that you have learned from all of these experiences that brought you on this journey in a, in a mature but childlike and fun way, you know, that's exciting, that's, um, it makes you feel alive again. It makes you feel, so it makes you feel um, like the world is worth living, 
Your life is worth living outside, outdoors, exploring, you know, meeting people, exchanging, like in really fun conversations. So this is, it's, it's really exciting and feels like, um, yeah, it feels like this is a really, if this relationship is not in your life right now, maybe it's because you haven't dared to come out of your shell or uh, your home, like literally, right? So maybe there is already a guidance to um, step out of your comfort zone. But let's see what the astrological runes have to say if they have like a final guidance for this message. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Okay. So MC and MC it stands for the mid heaven, right? Because it means meio do céu in Portuguese. Um so it's I'm just uh this is interesting because it came out on the first reading that I did actually the Aquarius reading that I did on the Aquarius full moon, right? Which was this big opening of the portal. Oh my god. Yes, because it was time right? In mid-heaven, it's, well, in astrology, if you look at your birth chart, um, the mid-heaven is the highest point in your chart, right? So it points to uh, our purpose. It points to the meaning of our existence, of our, uh, of the reason why we're here. So it's this uh, higher um, purpose, right? So for you, Gemini, I feel like this is this is something that it is in your destiny because the Wheel of Fortune, the world, the Judgment card, and now the Midheaven, it feels like this portal that's opening up for you. It's like it is meant to be this way. This meeting is so destined like every millimeter millimeter of this encounter is just so perfectly orchestrated by the divine by destiny that you're going to feel so so i don't know if this is possible because i haven't felt it but i've been like thinking about this uh, a lot is it possible to feel at peace but also excited as at the same time. Like, I just wonder if like, if someone is uh, capable of triggering peacefulness and also excitement at the same time in another. Maybe it is. And maybe that's what you're about to find out actually. So if that's um, what you're about to find out, like as soon as you step out of your comfort zone, uh, let me know. I would love to know that. Um, yeah, okay. So, Gemini, this was your second part of the reading. Um, if it resonated, then yeah, this 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 feels promising. This feels like a really beautiful re relationship. Um, yeah, thank you for being here with me. Take care. Bye.